Secondly, um, this is not an example of a plus size model. This is not an example of a woman with a natural body type, Tess Holliday. This is a morbidly obese woman. Okay, for people who are not, who are listening terrestrially, look at the picture. I mean, her blood type is pudding. <laughs> You know, Amy Schumer was on the Pirelli calendar, and that's a problem for me uh, because everyone was saying she was really brave. Now, this week was the Victoria's Secret fashion show, so Amy Schumer was nude, semi-nude on the calendar. I actually think Amy Schumer can be pretty funny. It has nothing to do with Amy Schumer, but all the people saying she's brave. And I said, well, okay, now you have the Victoria's Secret show this week. No one was ever praising Adriana Lima as brave. What's the difference? One's attractive. Therefore, it's not brave to be semi-clothed. It's only brave if you're ugly. It's only brave if you're likely fat. Now, people will say, who are you to... I've actually had uh, this uh, famous, I guess, one of the most famous plus-size models, Tess Holliday, or is it Holiday? I don't know. We have her up on the screen here got pretty mad. And she said, who are you? Who are you to say what's beautiful? The target demographic. I'm the guy who would be buying the naked lady calendar. Mechanics, men at work, a calendar that has been bought exclusively by men with naked women on the calendars, um, a tire company, Pirelli. That's who I am. Here we go. Who are you to... The target demographic. <laughs> is, it a, is it a fair enough answer? Also, a man. I'm the reason you would get naked on a calendar to sell the... We buy the calendars. So a lot of women say, well, no, we don't care. I got a bunch of naked ladies sending me pictures, giving me the middle finger. We don't care what you think. We get naked for ourselves. No, you don't. You don't get naked for yourself and get on a calendar. Now, and this idea that I'm going to change society's standard of beauty, you don't get to. Men don't go, oh, like Lena Dunham. Men don't go, oh, wow, wow. You know, I just, thank you. I, I was wrong about ample bosoms and birthing hips all this time. I want the sort of amoeba-like, snaggletoothed, butch-cutted, chain-gang, buzzfeed-looking lesbian who's eating cake on the crapper. That's what I want. I just didn't know it yet. <laughs> That's not how it works. If you want, just love me the way I am. Okay, I will. Here's me naked. I'm not a fan. How dare you? You and your preferences? I was born this way. No, you can change it. So Tess Holliday, we've welcomed her on the show. One of the biggest plus size models. I have this up in front of me. <laughs> uh, she's a large girl. Now, there's nothing wrong. If you're big, a lot of men like large women. That's fine. I actually think, we've talked about this. I think Adele is very sexy. Now, Adele is sexy. Why? Because she's incredibly talented. She's very pretty. She is a large girl, but she's not going around thrusting herself naked upon people. She's pretty and talented and dresses nicely. And I find her very attractive. I'm married, obviously. I love my wife. But I'm just saying I, I find Adele attractive. Tess Holliday, not so much. Um, so she wrote, I came across an article about some comedian named Steven Crowder. I had to Google it. Uh, I had to Google him. Of course, there's a little insult. Where she said that it, she gets mad at me for not calling Amy Schumer brave. It was in response to Amy Schumer's nude photo shoot for the Pirelli calendar, which was epic. I, I mean, if we're going... It depends on the definition of epic. And all I could think was, nope, some of us don't do it to be brave. And I can guarantee you, none of us do it for the approval, nor do we need it. Steven, men like you will never get it. And hell, you aren't even original. We have heard it all before. And guess what? We aren't going anywhere. You might be rolled somewhere. So kiss my fat feminist bum. F your beauty standards. Firstly, I kindly decline your request. Secondly, um, this is not an example of a plus size model. This is not an example of a woman with a natural body type, Tess Holliday. This is a morbidly obese woman. Okay, for people who are not, who are listening terrestrially, look at the picture. I mean, her blood type is pudding. <laughs> this is a, the tattoos are designed to cover up your varicose veins and diabetes spots. I don't even know if diabetes spots exist. 
F your beauty standards. You don't get to determine my beauty standards. And it's not like we were trying to be mean. The whole point is you don't get to redetermine beauty standards because you feel good. And by the way, you do do it for approval. You have 1.2 million face, uh, Facebook fans, Tess Holiday, and you do this because you want to make a living. The only way you make a living is if people think you're beautiful. You put on makeup, you put on tattoos. I don't know who that is, what that tattoo is on. Is that, I don't know what the tattoo is on her arm. One of them looks like, oh God, Miss Piggy. <laughs> I swear to you, this girl has a Miss Piggy tattoo on her arm. It's irony. I'm making a statement. Well, it's a big statement. We didn't choose our biology. And here's something too. Women, this beauty standard thing, they get, they get so mad. Here's the beauty. The male anatomy knows no prejudice. Okay? You've taken something that's so beautiful, right? My appendage is, it's a veritable beauty weather stick. It knows no race. It knows no social class. It knows uh, no wealth. It doesn't care whether you're big, small, blonde, brunette. Either you're attractive or you're not. It's a lie detector test and it can't be fooled. It's as pure as something can possibly get, untainted by political dollars or corporate influences. My Schwanson's a veritable beauty weather stick. You didn't beat the test, Tess Holiday. And I don't, I will never, men out there, just no, listen, we don't, a lot of us just don't like fat chicks. We like women who look attractive. You put an unattractive woman on a calendar, we're going to say, uh, I'm probably not going to buy that calendar. Why? Because she's unattractive. Tess Holiday, you're fat and unattractive and obviously not particularly intelligent. This wasn't a well thought out post. Therefore, I wouldn't buy your calendar. Blood type pudding. Lotter with Crowder will be back. Hey, if you like this video, subscribe by clicking my face or the button above me or one of these videos next to me. It's all free. If you don't like it, I can take off my glasses. I can be whoever you want me to be, okay? Internet, love me. I need your affection. What are the latest polls?